Welcome back everybody, Crazy Spartan here yet again with another crazy commentary. And today I'm actually wanting to talk to you about what defines a good Halo game. As you can see from the title of this uh, video. And this video is actually very much inspired by another one that I recently saw from Lurker Zero. Now if you have not subscribed to Lurker Zero, what are you doing? Go over to his channel, there is a link in the description. Check out his channel. He has a natural talent, one of the very few commentators that I know of that can take a subject, just kind of like a random subject, and bring it back around and apply it to Halo, which is just an incredible thing. Uh, he does an excellent job, very good friend of mine, uh, glad to have him on my friends list. Unfortunately, I don't get to play with him as much as I would like, uh, but definitely worth uh, checking out and subscribing to. Uh, please go do that. Check him out. Um, and I'm going to link the video that I'm referencing uh, down below. So definitely worth your time to check out. Now, on to the subject at hand. And then what defines a good Halo game? Now, that is actually a very interesting subject to me because it is very broad, to be actually honest with you. When you talk about like other games, like uh, what defines a good Call of Duty game? Uh, for uh, those that do play Call of Duty, and I do do that on occasion with friends, pretty much that's about it. But I do play it, and that's pretty much strictly multiplayer. Uh, if the multiplayer isn't good, the 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 game is crap. Uh, look at Call of Duty Ghost. That was that was absolute crap. Even some of my friends that love Call of Duty, and I, like I said, I I, I enjoy it, but I don't play it that much. But. Um, I have friends that absolutely love Call of Duty, and they just outright said, that game is crap. Which, you know, it is. It is. Um, uh, but it, that's, that's a game that's defined by its multiplayer. And Halo, it is, yet it isn't, uh, defined by its multiplayer. Uh, what is a good definition of Halo? Now, that is, like I said, is very broad subject. We have like very diverse community in that respect. Uh, we have the uh, we do have the multiplayer side. We'll dive into that first, uh, and the multiplayer side is definitely takes up the vast majority of my time. Uh, I play it and I enjoy it, and it's just an incredibly fun experience. I think Halo Five is taking that to the next level because I liked Halo Four. Though it became frustrating at times with all the nonsense that was included with it, the loadout system and everything else that was included, it was just a very frustrating experience. It, like I felt like it had a ton of potential, but it just really wasn't realized. Um, I even enjoyed Halo Reach. Uh, again, another game that really could have been so much better than it was if they had the TU, uh, the title update... Uh, in the regular uh, Slayer, instead of the the original Slayer, man, it would be damn near a perfect game, minus the loadouts, of course. But everything else, it, it played great. I really enjoyed Halo Reach. Uh, the Forge was incredibly fun as well. Uh, that's actually where I really could honestly say I got my start in foraging. Um... But you have that, that the multiplayer experience. There is definitely a large community that that is what they do. They don't touch campaign. They don't touch Forge. They don't touch anything else. That's their side. Um, and the better that is, you know, the better their game experience is. However, that's just a portion of Halo. That's just a portion. Now we talk about, uh, let's talk about Forge real quick. That's definitely regulated to, or, or definitely relevant to the multiplayer side. Um, the Forge community is incredible. Um, 
we have players that that's all they do is they sit around and they make up maps, test them out, make maps, uh, uh, refine them, make them better. And that's what they do. That's what they enjoy doing. And Halo offers that. Uh, and that is just an incredible option or opportunity because very few other games offer that ability to go in and create your own maps. You could make uh, infection maps for those of you that like playing Flood or Infection. You have that. You want to play uh, competitive. You want to make mini games, which is a whole other community in itself. Uh, not to mention Griffball is a whole community in itself. I mean, they have their own websites and everything else. Um, and that's what's really cool about that. Uh, that is just one little portion of Halo that is makes a great game for them. Now let's talk about campaign, which is always, always the first thing I do. I always go through the campaign because I want to know what the story is. I want to see where we're at, see where we're heading. I want to see what's going on and the lore as to uh, what everything that's happened in the last uh, whatever long it's been that we've had uh, since the last game. <clears throat> Now, this is actually uh, a huge thing because right now, Halo 4, I'm, I'm just going to say Halo 3 uh, had uh, Halo 3, 343. I'm, I'm a little silly right now, but uh, 343 is dedicated to making the lore uh, consistent. They are very dedicated to that and they wanted everything to kind of flow along together. And that's where we are, and that's where I'm reading the books. I'm reading, right now, I'm finishing up Mortal Dictata, and I'm going to finish that, which is about the uh, the Kilo 5, uh, that uh, ODST team, and uh, Spartan uh, 010, Naomi, uh, finding out basically everything that they, they go through and encounter, which is incredible. I love the Halo lore. And the campaign is definitely a huge part of that. And I can't wait to dive into that. Now, that is part of the Halo game. Some people, and believe it or not, they never touch multiplayer. They touch the campaign. They want to get in there. They want to hear the story. They want to find all the secrets. They want to find all the terminals. They want to find out what is going on in the Halo universe, which is defines a good Halo game for them. And I think Halo 5 is definitely going to deliver on that promise. From what we've heard so far is that the Halo 5 campaign is going to be twice, count it ladies and gentlemen, twice as long as Halo 4's. And Halo 4's campaign was not exactly small. Now the question I have, I'm going to just throw that out here to you guys question I have is it twice as long as the regular campaign or is it twice as long as the regular campaign plus Spartan Ops because technically that was part of the campaign I mean seriously it was it wasn't part of the main campaign but it was part of the campaign and if we have that much uh, campaign I'm excited I'm excited. I cannot wait to dive into this, and ugh, I won't be looking forward to Legendary, but uh, I will definitely be looking forward to diving in and finding out what the next uh, thing is going on. And that's what makes Halo so awesome. That's why it is my favorite game of all time. It's not because of multiplayer. It's part of it. It's not because of Forge. That's just part of it. It's not because of Campaign. That's just part of it. It's because everything kind of works together and it makes this incredible experience and I'm able to get online and share that experience with friends. And I think Halo 5 is taking that to the next level, which is what I'm really excited about. I'm going to be able to play this campaign that is designed, it is designed for co-op play. 
Am I going to get online and my friends are going to play Linda and I'm going to play Master Chief? Yeah, maybe. Or maybe I want to play Linda and have that sniper rifle. Or maybe I want to play um, uh, Spartan Lock and, and be in command of the Artemis and everything else. I don't know. I really don't know. And that's why I think the Halo 5 campaign is going to be spectacular. But after that's done, I'm going to go online. I'm going to go play. I'm going to go enjoy some of that, that multiplayer. And the multiplayer sounds incredible in itself. We're talking about 15. 15 arena maps from day one. Maybe it was 14. Maybe 14. But anyways, I think Josh Holmes just kind of said this last at uh, HCS uh, for the Invitational and GamesCon. said there's going to be 20 plus he said 20 plus. I remember hearing it. 20 plus maps on launch day, which is amazing. Which absolutely is amazing. And they're adding 15 plus. Now, what I see the plus is, is probably you're going to be your Forge maps. It's probably going to be things like Sandbox or um, uh, Forge Islands or, or Forge Worlds or, or whatever that possibly could be. And I think that's going to be an incredible experience. Um, to see and that's gonna be there by June. That's gonna be there by June. How can I not be excited about this game? How could I not? This game's gonna have just about everything I've always wanted. It's got fair starts. It's got incredible options to play It's gonna be an incredibly fun game to play from day one and hopefully you guys feel the same way and if not you'll at least give it a try and at that point you will join me and join your friends online for some crazy Halo action. Now, I think this video here is just about wrapping up here. We're at 44, 42s, uh, and uh, actually, this has been pretty good, uh, good match. Unfortunately, I think, like I said, I think uh, we lose this match. Uh, not for a lack of effort on my part, but I think we do lose this match, and, and <laughs> it was definitely a fun one to play. Uh, hopefully, I'll be bringing you some matches here with some more voice comms uh, from with my friends, like the old rap scallion stuff and stuff. So, I definitely appreciate your guys listening to my rambling and what I think defines a good Halo game. Uh, it is a wide variety for everybody. Let's all enjoy it together. I'll see you guys online. This is a Crazy Spartan. I am out of here. They outnumber us three to one. Three to one. Burn them, burn them, mongrel. Three to one. Burn them, mongrel. Fire. I need a weapon. There was only one machine. Yes, I called it Pillar of Autumn. Pillar of.